हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टोटल एज राइट टू लर्नर हियर दिस इज ट्रिपोना होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सम इकोनॉमिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्लस ट्वेल्व ऑन द डिफरेंट बोर्ड्स सो क्लस वी ऑल नो क्लस ट्वेल्व इज अ बोर्ड एग्जाम एंड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स डिपेंड ऑन द रिजल्ट ऑफ द बोर्ड एग्जाम हाउ यू विल मूव फॉरवर्ड इन करियर पाथ सो दैट्स वाई गुड प्रिपरेशन इज नेटेड फॉर द एग्जाम so please stay with me and to follow my previous sessions and link of the all previous sessions are available in my first comment and my description box so please go and check out once so learner i hope uh, these sessions will be a very helpful session to everyone so please to uh, some supporters and do subscribe my channel so learner let's move on to the session हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टोटल इज अ राइट टू लर्नर हियर दिस इज रिपोना होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सम इकोनॉमिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व फ्रॉम डिफरेंट बोर्ड्स क्लास ट्वेल्व इज अ बोर्ड एग्जाम वी ऑल नो सो आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स डिपेंड ऑन द रिजल्ट ऑफ द बोर्ड एग्जाम हाउ यू विल मूव फॉरवर्ड इन कैरियर पाथ एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा सो दैट्स वाई गुड प्रिपरेशन इज नेडेड फॉर द एग्जाम so please stay with me and do follow my previous sessions link of the all previous sessions are available in my description box and my first comment so i hope it will be really a helpful session to everyone so please do subscribe to my channel and some supporters so learner let's start the session uh move on to the next we can see the very first question that is what is composition of thread so the composition of thread Includes both the composition of export and the composition of import. So at first we have to know what do you mean by exports, and then we have to discuss uh, of imports. So what is export? Export basically refers to the purchasing some goods and services from other countries. And what is the meaning of import? So import indicates. uh sending uh, some goods and services to another country for sale so export basically related to the purchasing related to the purchasing or purchasing the goods and services from other countries and import is related to the sending goods and services to another country for selling purpose that is the difference between export and import and composition of trade provides information on countries import and export of different types of commodity as a result it reveals a nation's structure and the level of economic development also i think what do you mean by a composition of trade is clear to everyone so now move on to the next question lana i hope this is clear what do you mean by a composition of trade so now move on to the next question so that is what is informal sector we all know that sector is of two types one is formal and another one is informal so informal sector consists of activities that have market value but are not formally registered so that means informal sector or unorganized sector is a part of any economy which is neither taxed nor monitored by any form of government by any governmental organization and some characteristics of informal sectors are small undefined workplaces unsafe working conditions low levels of income skills training technology and lack of access to information so all are the important characteristics of informal sector so informal sector or unorganized sector consists of all unincorporated private enterprises owned by individuals which is uh, engaged in the sale and production of goods and services and those uh, sector operated on those sector operated on partnership and proprietary basis work so that is the basic meaning of the informal sector so informal sector is neither taxed nor monitored by any governmental organization okay 
I think this is clear. So now going to the next question. So next question is what is disguised unemployment? So we all know that the another name of disguised unemployment that is hidden uh, hidden unemployment okay because uh, disguised unemployment is a kind of unemployment in which there are people who are visibly employed but they are actually unemployed so that's why it is called hidden unemployment also so it doesn't affect aggregate economic output it doesn't affect the total economic output it occurs when productivity is low and too many workers are filling few jobs. So, uh, for example, we can say in rural areas, it is found in agricultural sector. In a family of uh, like uh, nine people, all are engaged in the same agricultural plot, but four people are withdrawn from it, there will be no reduction in output. So, these four people are actually facing the disguised unemployment because they are visibly visibly employed but they are not actually employed they are unemployed and this is the meaning of disguised unemployment so now move on to the next question the industrial policy resolution of 1956 uh, classified industries into so we have option for this question so uh, there are four options. The first one is two categories, second one is three categories, third one is four categories and last one that is none of the above. So option number B, three categories is the correct answer. So what are the three categories of the Indian uh, policy, industrial policy resolution of 1956? So first one is the first category that is a schedule A industry that is government enterprises, schedule B industries that means mixed enterprise and option sorry uh, the third category that is schedule B industries that is private, private uh, enterprises. So three categories implies government enterprises mixed enterprises and private enterprises i think this question is clear to everyone so now move on to the next question the next question is which of the following was the reason for the initiation of economic reforms in india so at first we have to know what we you mean by economic reforms so economic reforms are defined as changes in policies that aim at improving economic efficiency of a country. And initiation means to start something or to launch something. So that means why are the basic, uh, why are the economic reforms start? So uh, what are the reason for the uh, starting of economic reforms in India? So, we have four options. The first option is mounting fiscal deficit. Second option is rise in prices. Third option is huge deficit in balance of payments or BOP. And last one that is all of the above. So, obviously option four. So, option uh, D is the correct answer for this particular question. So, mounting fiscal deficit, rise in prices, huge deficit in BOP, all are the main reasons for the initiation or starting of economic reasons in India. So, now going to the next question. So, here we can see the fifth question that is the term. Which term is used to divide people as poor and non-poor is called poverty index, poverty ratio, poverty line or all of the above. So obviously option C, poverty line is the correct answer for this question because poverty line only specifies the level of income that is just sufficient to maintain the basic minimum standard of living and it differences the poor and non-poor people. So that's why it is one of the uh, it is one of the term among these which is used uh, to divide people as poor and non-poor. So now move on to the next question. What is organic farming? So organic farming. What are the another name of organic farming? 
so what so what are the what are the uh, another name so organic farming are also known as ecological farming biological farming etc so organic farming is an agricultural system that uses fertilizers of organic origin so what are the organic fertilizers that is compost manure green manure and the bone meal uh, places emphasis on the uh, and basically the organic farming emphasis on the crop rotation and the companion planting so uh, organic farming do not use the synthetic pesticides or, and fertilizers holistic production management system that promotes and enhances agro ecosystem health including biodiversity and it reduces uh, our chemical exposure and organic farming is better for the environment also because its practices involve less pollution soil erosion and energy so that's why organic farming is better uh, than anything so i think this is clear what is the actually meaning of uh, the organic uh, farming so now going to the seventh question and that is growth rate of population is highest in which of the following countries the first option is india the second option is china the third option is pakistan and last option that is none of the above so we all know that growth rate of population is highest among these countries india china and pakistan S sorry option number b China is the correct answer. So now move on to the next question. So the next question is name two indicators of human develop index, human development index or HDI. So at first we have to know what is human development index. So we uh, it is a statistic. It is a uh, human development index is a statistic composite index and it is. So now move on to the next slide. So here we can see name uh, two indicators of human development index. So at first we have to know what do you mean by human development index or HDI. So it is a statistic composite index and which is used to rank countries in the four tiers of human development. So it is a summary composite measure of a country's average achievements in three aspects that is life expectancy, education and per capita income. So uh, here we can uh, uh, here we can see the three indicators of the human development index. First one is life expectancy, second one is education and third one is per capita income. So now going to the next question. The stock of the skill and expertise of a nation at a point of time is known as that is social infrastructure, human capital, physical capital or none of the above. So option number B uh, or human capital is a correct answer basically human capital uh, indicates the stock of a uh, knowledge and skill or expertise of a nation or uh, and of all all individuals okay so at a point of time so that's why it is known as human capital so option number b or human capital is the correct answer for this particular question so now going to the next slide so here we can see the 10th question that is what is global warming. So global warming is basically a phenomenon which indicates the gradual increase in the average temperature of earth. So that means it occurs when CO2 and other air pollutants collect in the atmosphere and absorb sunlight and solar radiation that have bounded the of the earth's surface. So that's why uh, the uh, average temperature of earth increases so that situation that phenomenon is called as 
global warming so now going to the next question basically question number 10 is related to the question number 11 because question number 11 is briefly explain two causes of global warming so uh, here we can uh, see the two real causes of global warming the first one that is cutting down forest so we all know that amount of forest nowadays are cutting down so that's why it is one of the most important cause of global warming and now going to the next one that is the generating power so glow it uh, it is generating electricity and heat by burning uh, fossil fuel uh, causes a large chunk of global emission so that's why uh, it is also the one of the most important uh, cause of the global warming so i think this is clear what do you mean by a global warming so global warming basically the gradual increase in the average temperature of earth and name two causes of global warming that is cutting down forest and generating power and this is clear to everyone so now move on to the next question so the next question is what is poverty so so learner we have already told uh, that what do you mean by a poverty in my previous session so please go and check it once i think it will really be a helpful uh, session to everyone so all uh, previous sessions links are available in my first comment and my description box so please go and check it once so poverty is basically a state or a situation in which a person or a group of a people do not have enough money or the basic things they need to live so what are the basic things are uh, of uh, for, uh they they need to live so uh, the basic things are food clothes and shelter so we all know that food clothes and shelter are the necessary or the basic things which is needed to live the life okay so those people do not have enough money to meet the basic needs or the necessary things uh those group of people are referred as poverty okay so now move on to the next question so how is relative poverty different from the absolute poverty so basically uh, the question indicates the difference between the absolute poverty and the relative poverty so at first we have to know what do you mean by a absolute poverty so what is absolute poverty learner so absolute poverty basically is used to describe a condition where an individual doesn't have the financial means to obtain the commodities to sustain life okay so relative poverty means poverty defined in comparison to other people standing in the same economy uh, we can say a person can be poor in the relative sense even if she is she or she is not poor in the absolute sense and that is can meet uh, her uh, basic needs uh, for uh, to live a life okay so those people are compromised the quality of life they don't have the quality food environmental hazards etc so those group of people are related to the relative uh, poverty so that is the basic differences between absolute poverty and the relative poverty so absolute poverty is used to describe a condition where an individual doesn't have the financial uh, capability to obtain uh, commodities to sustain life but relative poverty is basically a uh, other concept okay uh, it refers to the standard of living compared to the economic standards of living within the same surrounding uh, so learner basically absolute poverty indicates a section uh, who are unable to get even its basic necessities of life on the other hand relative poverty defined in comparison to other people standing in the same economy so that is the basic differences between absolute poverty and the relative poverty i think the concept of concept of poverty is clear to everyone so we are done for the today's session i hope this session will be a very 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 uh, useful session to everyone i will come again with a new session till then stay tuned please do like share comment and more subscribe to my channel please the bell button for